What is going on guys? This is Ben here. So in today's video, I'm doing a big chest opening video for you guys. You can see my trophy count is a little low, but I have a lot of gold and I have a lot of gems. So the reason why I'm actually under 4,000 is has to do with this clan chest. I'm going to make a video on this topic in probably the next video that you'll see, but it's, it's about pretty much dropping trophies. So that's why I'm kind of doing it right now. But we'll talk about that in, in a later video. So for today's video, I'm going to be buying legendaries. I already bought two of the graveyard. I actually had to re-record this part. So yeah, we're buying it again. There we go. Now the graveyard is sold out. I previously bought two more of them. And I can. I just need one more. One more graveyard to be able to upgrade it. The graveyard I, I, I'm indifferent about. I didn't I didn't really like it before when it first came out. But now I, I, kind, of, I kind of enjoy it. I see a lot of people using Giant Graveyard or Graveyard Freeze. And it's a really good card. I need to learn how to use it better because it's so good but there's my legendary count and honestly i'm gonna be opening 30 magical chests for you guys now and maybe doing a match after so make sure to like if you guys want to see more chest opening videos and because i feel as though chest chest opening videos are pretty entertaining and i really want to max out my account with all the cards so i need a lot of epics and legendary or the magical chests are pretty good at doing that and we got a legendary on the first one Sadly, we already had the Ice Wizard maxed out. It's not the one we needed. But hey, we got our gold. We got a lot of gold for that, pretty much. And honestly, I don't know. I, I really thought I was going to be able... <laughs> Guys, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just trying to tell you, like, I need epics to upgrade my my epic cards as well. This is not going well. I cannot talk properly right now. What I'm trying to say is I need a lot of epic cards to get my epics into a upgradable level. I need, like, the bowler... Uh, the, the P.E.K.K.A. I can do now, I just don't have enough gold, the Baby Dragon, and once those are done, I just need to focus on the Legendaries and maxing those out. Uh, but fret not, once I actually do max out this account, I, I, I think I might do this. I, I think I might start a new account and literally just do like a lot of chest opening videos on that one and, and like pretty much gemming videos. Because honestly, I see the feedback, a lot of people like chest opening videos, and I personally like doing those too because they're fun, they're exciting. And I don't like that's that's what I like to do, and I also like doing matches and stuff. You see, it's just, well, obviously, if you play Clash Royale, you should like battling. <laughs> but that's a, those are going to be my main focuses for Clash Royale, what you can expect to see. So if you're into that, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you've not already. But I, I'm kind of redefining the focus of what I what I want to do for the channel. So you're going to see this is terribly hard for me to discuss. I do not know why. I, I, my thoughts are not like coming across in an understandable way right now, <laughs> so bear with me, but maybe it's just that I need to focus. I'll just open the chest and focus on what I'm going to say, lightning spell we needed, okay good. Almost getting able to, or almost being able to max that out. So all in all, what I've been saying before, what I'm going to be doing and what can you expect to see mostly from Clash Royale is a lot of chest opening videos will be coming in the future. I know it's going to cost a lot of money, but that's alright, I really want to have another account up there too. And just start to so start over, honestly. But this one you'll still see from uh, when I do for go for challenges like the the grand challenge, and when I do want to do high level pushes, you'll still see that. And I, I really do want to max this out though with legendaries. I know it's it's not it's not fast like it's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna it's, it's gonna cost a lot of gems. Well, that's all right. I I don't know. I just want to max it out for whatever reason, and I have the means to so. Might as well do it, and I think it'll be in, in, in basically. I think it's going to be an entertaining ride for you guys. So that's my thoughts. Enough talking about that. Uh, we're already done. This is this is mainly just focused on the freaking chest opening, and I've turned it into something that is in like <laughs> that is basically incomprehensible because I'm not even talking in coherent senses really. But it's all right. I'm getting some legendaries, and this will get me a lot of gold as well. I mean, I could straight up buy gold. But the better way to do it for me that makes sense, because uh, you gotta think of it two ways. Like business, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Like people want to see chest opening videos, and I could just buy gold, but that's not that's not fun to watch. If I get gold from opening these chests because I already have the card maxed out, it's it's better chance. Plus, I get the chance for a legendary for me, so it's like a win win. So there's a little bit behind the scenes of my my brain thing. Yes, we got the freaking graveyard. We can upgrade that. That one we were just talking about. So that's, that's four graveyards that I got today. Uh, hopefully I keep getting these legendary cards in the shop. Honestly, I had the Lumberjack. I was going to record a video on um, who was in the shop. I was going to buy him, but I completely forgot. <laughs> I, for, I like opened it up early in the morning, and then I like took a shower, ate, and then I went. Then I actually went to Milwaukee, and I just completely forgot about that there was a Lumberjack in my shop. 
So I missed out on that one. Uh, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. We could almost max out that baby dragon. But I, I don't know. I hope you guys are excited. Let me know if you guys are, or if you guys are on board with that. Like seeing a lot more chest opening videos. And obviously I'll still do like, like I stated before, just do battles and everything. And I know I said I wasn't gonna talk about this, but it's hard not to. But I'm just curious to hear your guys' thoughts, opinions. Uh, Cause who doesn't? Who does not like seeing chest opening videos? And I personally love opening them. So, and I still need to max out that Goblin Gang. The best, honestly, the best way to get common cards and uh, yeah, basically to get the common cards is the giant chest. You can get the rares here and there. How many? How many? At least thirty rares. So that's like the best way, to, the most efficient way. Say like a a new card comes up, that's really good. Go for giant chest if you want, just for the commons. But if you want epics and uh, legendaries, magical chest or super magical. The reason why I don't say super magical because it's quite absurd. The the amount of gems it takes to open one of those. Uh, 4600 I mean I still do do those chest openings but I think at this point in time for what I'm looking for because yes you do get a lot of more epics in the super magical chest but you get a more variety in the magical chest and I'll, I don't really need big waves I only need like a little bit a little bit of the epics and this is probably my best value for it now if I'm hunting legendaries I will switch over to the super magical chest for opening <laughs> But right now we're not really hunting for those those legendary cards. If we get them, that's great. We're more we're more so just getting the we're going for the epics and everything like that. So execution going down, giant chest. But I am really excited to start another account. It's gonna be going from level one and just opening some chests here and there. <laughs> a lot of people wanted to see a free account, uh, a free a free to play new account. That is that can still be on the horizon. But I kind of want to do a. A gemming account in let two. We can upgrade the log now. These magical chests are on point. Because these are the legendaries that I need. So, oh my god. And a freaking Electro Wizard. So, I don't even know how many legendaries are out for the video. The two that I didn't buy for the log. Well, uh, what else did I get? <laughs> the, the great, or the, that I didn't buy for the log. That I didn't buy for the graveyard. The graveyard that I bought, so that's three. And then we did get the log. We did get... Uh, another graveyard, and then we did get the Electro Wizard, the Ice Wizard. I don't know, we're probably up to six or seven. I know I might be forgetting one, but still, that's pretty good for magical chests. Usually, I've done these before, these kind of openings, and I didn't, I, I'd see like maybe one legendary. So I'm, I'm excited for that. And plus, we're getting a ton of epics. Well, I can already max out the pack. Oh, there we go, we're done with the opening. Do I want to, do I want to get the gems to upgrade another one? <laughs> Cause we're so close. Uh, nah. We'll we'll leave it at that. So we have here's our count now. We can upgrade the log. Ordo on upgrade this. Ordo on upgrade the lava hound. Ah, decisions, decisions. Ordo on to save up my gold to save it for one of the epics that I need. So I can upgrade these now. The expo we're getting close on. Bowler still a little far off. Skeleton army. Honestly, I really want to max this out because this is the card I use the most for the epic. Rage Spell is up there now too, and it's just like the newer ones that we don't really have, well, aside from Skeleton Army. All the other ones we can upgrade now, so we're getting up there. Legendary count is going to take a while. A lot of a lot of hunting for these legendaries is going to be needed for ch through going through chests or whatever, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to do battle. Screw that. Uh, it's, actually, no, I'm not. Because <laughs> I'm trying to drop in trophies just to prove my point uh for the next video so actually i could do i'll just do a grand challenge for you guys that doesn't affect trophy count we'll get into it i don't even honestly i don't know what my battle deck is i think i was experimenting with a giant yes i was so we'll we'll see how this goes no promises uh i don't know if this is good at tournament uh, if i lose here i'll probably switch to my other one but we'll hit him with that that gl as well he's got the rocket dude oh i think he meant to hit my <laughs> my elixir collector but i think he missed a little bit there so musketeer i, I absolutely hate that's why i put it on uh for in my battle deck because it's so annoying but we want that minute packet to take care of it not quite though didn't happen so we'll drop our own musketeer and our giant's like half health now uh we'll do a big push we know he has rocket but there's just no way he has enough elixir just oh god all right so we're actually gonna zap that inferno Come on, Musketeer and Executioner. Go for the tower. Oh. Oh. 
We got a lot of value with our execution right now. That's probably gonna take his tower. And do I dare? Yeah, I'll drop my elixir collector here. So if he wants to rocket it, he can. But we'll see what he decides to do. Hit my king tower. Maybe, hopefully he misclicks with the rocket. <laughs> or maybe he's gonna save it and not go for rocketing it because he messed up last time and he doesn't wanna make a fool. But we don't really need to worry about that miner. I'll, I'll, if I get tower damage from the musketeer, I'm fine with it. I'd rather have my musketeer be able to push with my giant. Uh, we'll kind of. Ooh, good thing he rocketed there. I was just about to drop my executioner, and we'll throw down some minions. I'll throw down the goblin gang just in case he drops inferno. And I don't think he he, he can't really stop our push here. This is good for us. So nice. He, he took. It. Okay, good. That I was gonna say they almost we almost took it out. Not quite. But we have a big advantage here. I'm going to take the damage from those minions there. I know now it's in like two rockets will probably kill it. But I don't, I don't see him, foresee him getting my other tower down by like at all. So I'm actually going to start for a three crown push, push I guess. Uh, do have to be wary of him rocketing my back line. Okay, never mind. The rocket goes out. He only needs to rocket that tower once more. But now I can safely drop the executioner. Uh, we'll, we'll throw it on the Goblin Gang over there, just because we can. Cause he's really going hard, and I thought he was gonna. I thought that miner was going to the left, and I, it was not. So, we'll, oh no, oh no. He got one tower, but our, our other one is still fully alive, and he has two giants to worry about. We know he has that Inferno Tower, but I don't think he can stop this because I have the Zap to reset it. So there we go. Hit him with that. Hit him with the Zap on the tower. GG. We got the three crown. First win for the Grand Challenge. Honestly, this battle deck wasn't doing the best in ladder matches when I was pushing because I got up to like 5,130-ish range last season. Didn't do a big full-on push, but we'll see. This was probably the last match of the video, win or lose. Uh, we'll hit him with the GL. Just, so just abbreviate everything. That's how you got to do it. Any emote. We'll hit him with the WP for well played. <laughs> we'll hit him with the the OP for oops. I should drop mini Pekka there. We're gonna take some tower damage here, sadly. That's all right. Uh, we'll drop this. That musketeer is gonna take care of my executioner if I don't do anything. So our minions are going ham on that tower, and our mini Pekka is gonna take it. So we actually won the tower damage trade. And we didn't even ha we didn't even start out with our elixir collector, which sucks. But now we can, and I don't want to use it for defense on that hog rider, so I'm just gonna drop it now. He probably will push with the hog. The only thing that I have is this musketeer to drop. Yeah, he's he's mounting a big push for that hog rider right now. Uh, do I dare zap? I kind of have to, don't I? I wasn't gonna lose my tower. Close! We almost lost that tower, holy crap. Uh, we will push with Giant. I mean, why not? And then we'll push- oh shoot. I do not have Zap, so we have to save the Zap now. Hopefully the Goblin Gang will take out that Inferno. Alright, this is gonna be- we have to mount to come back here. I think once we hit double Elixir we'll be okay. I can't afford- I don't want to lose my tower just here. I want to make him drop something. Um, mini peck if you get there, that'd be cool. Oh my gosh, dude. It was so freaking close. Hopefully he decides not to hog rider that. Okay, he's gonna giant that. I see you. That was a stupid play by me. Should have played it much better, but hey, at least the giant is going for the tower and freaking don't want to lose that musketeer. Oh, right, we got mini peck now. The cycle, man. I guess we'll drop giant. I guess we'll drop this. And we'll, we'll zap. And I'll guess we'll drop these. I, I'm just saying, I'm guess. I guess. He has the log, though, so it's going to suck. Ugh. 22 seconds. What do I do here? You know what? We'll go for it. We have to.
13 seconds. Couldn't get it done, so he beat me with the Hog Rider Giant. Uh, that is a, it's a, it was pretty fun. Well, I was gonna say fun. <laughs> I don't know what I was gonna say. This whole video has been me off. That doesn't even make sense. I will say it's, it was pretty fun. It's never fun losing, but it's a pretty good battle deck. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Mine's not the best, but hey, we got a victory and a loss. I mean, I guess at least we will get a grand challenge chest. Do you even get one if you lose? I don't know. If like if you get zero wins, I don't think I've ever had not. I don't think I've ever not got zero wins. So I'm not sure. Someone can enlighten me if you get it or not. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like we did. Let me know if you want to see some more chest opening videos. And don't forget to subscribe for more Clash Royale videos. And I'll see you guys later.